Welcome to Crappy Peeps. It's Adele from Inky Quill and I'm here with episode number seven of my Inky Q&A, which I answer questions that you asked about a year ago in a Q&A video <laughs> that I hadn't filmed yet. So we're up to, there's been six other parts, so if you haven't watched those, make sure you do. Um, this time we're, we're talking about supplies and we're talking this episode I guess you could say um, about kit clubs and subscriptions I get a lot of questions about kit clubs and subscriptions so I'm going to try and answer the ones that I've got here and then other things that I think you might oh. sorry baby to me when I'm filming this is still in my belly and he is kung fuing can you not kung fu right now please or I've only got a couple of weeks to go and my gosh the space is getting tighter and tighter okay if I all of a sudden go it's because it's because he's he's done a new move right into my side kit clubs what are they why are they who are they so a kit club if you're not sure is where um, you get it's like a subscription based service it can be most of the time people use it like a subscription service or some of them allow you just to buy one-off kits um, and not have to sign up to a contract but what it is is you get sent a coordinating kit of supplies every month usually for a certain amount of money so you might pay $30 a month and you might get some patent paper some stickers some embellishments some alphabets that all colour coordinate together for you to create stuff with. I really love kit clubs because I find, especially here in Oz, it's the easiest way to get the newest products because quite often companies over online companies over here um, buy a set amount of new, you know, American crafts and then they sell out. The day that they put them up, they're gone. So if you're not there that day, you have no chance of getting them. So I find that kit clubs are great for getting the latest supplies. Um, it's also nice to look forward to something new every month. Um, it's also, for us here anyway, often cheaper to buy them in the kit because they are less than what you would buy if you bought every individual piece separately. So they're the reasons why I, I like them. I have subscribed to several different kit clubs over the years. They all have pros and cons. Um, I think it's important when you are choosing what kit club you want to have, I think it's important to do your research. YouTube is your best friend. If you type in name of the kit club unboxing, you'll be able to see close up what, uh, what is in the kits and see if it's your style because there's some kit clubs that are just not my style or I feel like you don't get the, the quantity for how much you're paying for it. Um, or it's just not what I need. I need embellishments more than paper. So I would be more likely to subscribe to a kit club that had a lot of embellishments in it rather than one that gave you 15 pieces of paper because I don't, I don't need that many. So that's a little bit about kit clubs. I've, in the past, I've subscribed to um, I originally started subscribing to Studio Calico when I started Project Life in 2013 um, but I think something happened with the company I don't know if they changed peeps or something happened and I just wasn't happy with them anymore the, the quantity of the stuff I found that I was paying so much for so little um, so I've had Studio Calico Scraptastic, I was on their design team. Scrappery, I was on their design team. Um, Hip Kit, I subscribed to for ages. Citrus Twist, I subscribed to for ages. So, I've been around the block with, <laughs> with kit subscriptions. Um, and I think the great thing that a lot of kit clubs are doing now is that you can just buy a one-off kit. So, I really recommend before you start a subscription with them, if you can, just buy a single month, see if you're satisfied. If you're still on the fence, maybe buy one more month after that, give them a two month 
give them a two month chance because sometimes the months just aren't your your thing so i remember once i got a kit that was all tropical themed and yellows and oranges and <sighs> not me at all um but i gave them another month and then i turned out liking the, the kit so give it a two month chance before you sign up for a contract i think that's handy also be aware that sometimes there's cancellation fees um i was just I had another kit that's not a scrapbooking kit. It was a stationary kind of kit. And I practically had to jump through hoops to cancel my subscription. It was ridiculous. And I won't ever subscribe to them again, um, just because of the process to cancel. So I had to, I sent them an email. They sent me, I think we went back and forth maybe two times about confirming if I did want to, I did want to cancel the subscription I said I did they said are you sure I said yes I'm sure and then they continued to take the money out they said they'd be a cancellation fee of 20 bucks or something like that so I said yep that's fine I just don't want them anymore too expensive I'm paying $70 for a kit which is worth about 20 no I don't <laughs> no um, and then they continued to take money out of my account for the next four months and send me kits great fun so just be careful with with signing up and reading the fine print and making sure you cancel if you want to cancel um, so let's hit some questions up if I was on a tighter budget which kit would I subscribe to so I would say Frida look at this pretty cat what are you doing they're mummy's bags. No, they're not for Frida's. Gonna have to confiscate this. But look at this face. Like, how could this face do anything naughty? Hey, have a kiss. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Yes, you. You're so mischievous. So mischievous. Okay, back to the Q&A. <laughs> okay, so before Frida interrupted us with her cheekiness and cuteness all bundled up into one frustrating little package, we were talking about kit clubs and tighter budgets. So I would say, first of all, have a look, depending on what country you're in, I know that the UK has started up a few great kit clubs as well. Um, there's some Aussie ones, there's some American ones. Have a look at kit clubs in your own country first because they'll probably be cheaper with shipping. Um, then I would say my two faves. I love Citrus Twist. I always, always have. I subscribe to their Project Life kit or their Pocket Life kit for a long time. I was subscribing to that at the same time as Studio Calico and I think that's what made me realise what you can get for your money rather than what I was getting with um, Studio Calico. So Citrus Twist is my fave for Project Life and their scrapbooking kit's beautiful as well. I've just never subscribed to it so but it is beautiful too. Um, I do like how Hip Kit have different types of kits so they have like a mixed media kit and an embellishment kit and a paper only kit. So they have a lot of different kits. So they're probably my two faves. They're not the cheapest though, but especially hip kit, I think is a little pricier. Um, but yes, they're probably my two faves. And then, do, do, do. Oh, this is a bit of a joint question, not on kit clubs, but um, tips for creating layouts quickly. Don't think about it. Stick and plonk, stick and plonk, stick and plonk, stick and plonk. That's my motto. <laughs> Put some glue on it, plonk it down on your page. Because if you start to um and ah, you're gone. You won't finish it. It won't get done. You'll get frustrated because you'll put it back in the first place that you put it in the first time. So stick and plonk is my way to finish um, layouts quickly. Also, and I talked about this on the first episode of Inky Chat, Oh no, the second episode. The second episode when we talked about Creative Mojo. If you weren't sure, 
Aaron and I have a podcast Whoa, called Inky Chat. Um, I'll put all the information down here and down in the description if you want to listen to it. But I would say that it's really important when you sit down to scrapping that you're not distracted either by your thoughts or by things around you. So I always try and kind of bribe myself. <laughs> yes, I'm almost 30 and I use craft and paper and glue to bribe myself to do chores around the house. But in all defenses, it works. So I will often say, Frida's ripping paper, I'm sorry if you can hear it. Um, I will often say to myself, if you spend 45 minutes doing the washing up, hanging out the washing, putting away last night's washing and, you know, sweeping the kitchen, then you can have two hours of crafting time. So bribery often helps as well because then once you actually sit down to scrap, you don't have those nagging little thoughts like, oh, I could be using this time to do this. I could be using this time to do this because it's already done. Therefore, you'll complete your layouts quicker because your mind isn't clouded. It's the psychology of scrapping. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frida is climbing through my tripod. Not my tripod, climbing through my lights at the moment. She has so much space to go around them, but yet she goes through them. Um, another... Ooh, using canvas fabric and felt on a layout. My tip would be, if you're using things like that, to put it as a layer. So anytime that you see me use tissue paper or a doily, that's where you can replace it for canvas or felt or any of those types of things. Maybe just put it in between and not have the pieces too big because I find your eye goes to them and that's children getting off the bus if you can hear them shouting. Um, but yes, if you have them smaller or you could use them as a, if you cut it into a circle. So if you cut a piece of felt into a circle, you could use it as the base of a embellishment cluster. There's some ideas. Just gonna wait for the children getting home from school. I think they're gone. Okay, next question. If I could pick one scrapbooking kit, not Project Life, to subscribe to, what would I choose and why? Like I said, either Citrus Twist or Hip Kit. I just like that they include um, a lot of the new American Crafts ranges, and I like the I like the ratio between paper to embellishments. I find they have a lot of embellishments. Next up, um, a year-long scrap marathon. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. <laughs> it would be amazing though, but alas, I I don't think I could I don't think I could do that. I'm trying really hard at the moment to to just do the two videos a week while I've got baby to me. Um, so yes, unfortunately no. I don't know if there'll be an Inky June marathon this year. It will depend on what type of baby he is and how much sleep he gets. <laughs> Um, and how well mummy is because it takes a lot to film. I know I've said this in, I think I said it on a video on Let's Get Inky, my other channel, um, but it probably takes about four hours per video. So that involves actually making it and filming it, um, getting the files. Oh, now she's eating my garbage bin. Freedom! Can I just show you this? She's preparing me for motherhood, that's for sure. Frida, what are you doing? So yeah, like I was saying, it takes about four hours per video to, um, to film it, take it off the camera, organize the files, edit the video, color adjust every frame, because I do um, often a video that you're watching might be nine different videos that I have to merge together and speed it up, record the voiceover, do the thumbnails, upload it to YouTube, oh sorry, master file it to a file, then upload it to YouTube, probably takes close to four hours per video, so I don't have enough <laughs> hours in the day to do a year-long June, uh, 
marathon but it'd be lovely it'd be really nice if I could maybe maybe one day when when I no, it's, <laughs> I wish I could though, <laughs> I really do. So I'm actually going to leave this video here. If you have any other kit subscription questions, hit me up in the comments below and I'll try and answer them if I can. Um, but yes, once I've figured out finances and things, I'll definitely be subscribing to some kits again because I miss, I miss them. And I find that it suppresses my urge to buy all the new things because <laughs> I'm kind of getting some of it anyway so yes thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the Q&A series and I'll see you in the next one bye what's up scrappy peeps and welcome oh bleh. no I forgot my own intro <sighs> She's pretending to be asleep so she can avoid my eye contact. <laughs>